I can't believe almost exactly one year ago I was sitting in this very spot. I think I was kind of sitting off to the side here and the camera was over there and I had just gotten laid off from my tech job. I feel like I've learned so much over this last year and I really wanted to just sit down, kind of reflect on the last year with you guys and share a handful of lessons that I've learned that hopefully could help some other people out out there. Regardless of whether you're going through a layoff or unemployment, I think that these are just general life lessons that can help you live a better and more fulfilling life. So with that being said, first let's just recap everything that has happened over the last year. So in the very beginning of January, I ended up getting laid off like I just mentioned. I was at the tech startup for only about six months. Prior to that, I was at Amazon, one of the biggest tech companies in the world, and Amazon also ended up going through layoffs last year, so nothing is really safe. At the time of getting laid off, I really didn't know what I was gonna do. I was like, you know what, regardless of looking for a new job, I wanna have something else that I'm working on so that if this ever were to happen again, I would have some other source of income, like something built up that I could at least have like a little bit of extra income coming in. I had a few people convince me to go ahead and start a YouTube channel and that's kind of how I ended up here. Over this last year, I posted tons of different content, as you guys know if you've been following me for a while, but I did have a video kind of blow up and that really helped my channel accelerate to a point where I was making pretty good income from it. I was growing at a really fast rate and it's kind of helped me be able to really consider doing this full time. Back in about September, I would say I actually stopped applying to jobs. I was on unemployment, state unemployment for the first like eight months of the year and that six significantly helped out financially, but once that was done, I decided I was gonna go ahead and really just pursue YouTube full-time. So that's kind of what has led me here today. And it's wild to just think about like where I started and where I'm at today with over 12,000 subscribers, working every day on making better videos that are more interesting for you guys. But with that being said, because I've gone through this, I feel like I have learned a handful of things that are just important for life in general. And I really wanted to sit down and share this with you today so that you can, like I said, live a more fulfilling life as well. So the first life lesson is how important it is to create multiple income streams for yourself. Like I said, when I got laid off, I was like, regardless of finding a new job, a nine to five different job, like I wanna have different sources of income so that even if something like this ever happened again, or maybe I could build up to a point where I could do it full time, or you know, maybe one day I wanna take a leave of absence Sense, or I could maybe even retire early. So many different options become available when you start creating different income streams for yourself. I've made a lot of videos on my channel about like how to make different income streams, side hustle ideas, and I'm actually going to be putting out a video in like a week, I think, on this topic as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But there are tons of ways to start making income. I just recommend like thinking about things that you're good at and thinking of ways that you can start to essentially monetize it, start making money from it, and over time grow it and scale it so that you can can actually do it full-time one day or at least be creating kind of just a cushion in case something were to happen and you needed to take time off work or you got laid off or any of that type of thing. I really just can't emphasize enough like how much I wish I already had built different income streams because even what I was making on unemployment for the first like eight months of last year was a fraction like a third of what I was bringing home before with my W2 9 to 5 income. So even with that unemployment income it could be significantly significantly lower than what you're used to making and so just by taking the time every day to work on different side hustles start building it up over time you're really just gonna set yourself up for success in the long run okay so the second lesson that I've learned is that it's okay to ask for help sometimes and what I mean by this is <laughs> go to therapy honestly you can't always offload all of your stresses anxieties and worries onto your husband partner best friend or parents it does get really exhausting for them and there's professionals out there for a reason so definitely recommend taking a advantage of that. In fact, in 2023, I did end up going to therapy for a while because I was so stressed, I was so anxious, and I felt really guilty about the fact that I wasn't contributing financially to our family. I was having a lot of mental breakdowns, and while I do, of course, have an awesome support system, you know, a supportive husband, amazing friends and family, at the end of the day, sometimes you just need help from a professional. I mean, personally, I just don't think it's fair to always put your worries and stresses on your friends or family, and honestly, that's what therapists are for. And if you don't love the idea of finding an in-person therapist or you don't want to drive somewhere every day or it just freaks you out and you don't want to do it, well, 
I have to recommend checking out the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online platform that helps you connect with therapists virtually. I also have looked into BetterHelp multiple times, including last year when I got laid off and was going through my personal stressful time dealing with unemployment. The platform is actually super easy to get started. You just fill out some questions about yourself, such as your demographic, things you're struggling with, and what you are looking for in a therapist. Once you're done with the questionnaire, you will receive a therapist that is a personalized match based on your answers to the questionnaire and the therapy process will begin. Some really cool things that I like about BetterHelp is that you can actually communicate with a therapist in a few different ways, including via messaging, via phone call, or via video chat. And because of that, I really do think that BetterHelp is such a cool platform and a great way for anybody that's even remotely interested tinkering around with the idea of getting started in therapy to go ahead and give it a shot. If you do want to check them out, I've included a link to get started down in my description box. And thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Regardless of what you decide to do, ultimately just know the fact that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to not be okay all the time. It's okay to have these feelings of worry and anxiety. But if you are really struggling with it, I highly recommend taking the time to just talk with a therapist. You never know what you might learn about yourself. You never know what you might end up improving about yourself, healing about yourself. And I personally just think everyone should give therapy a shot because you never really know like how much better of a person you could be until you get the help that you might need from a professional. The next one has been so, so important to me after losing a job specifically, and that is the lesson that you are not defined by what you do. I think a lot of us like so strongly root our identity into our jobs. And it's like, who are you? Tell me about yourself. And the first thing that we like to default doing is saying like, oh, this is what I do for work. I don't really understand why our job, our work life has to be the first thing that we default to when it comes to like creating our own identity. I think by losing my job this year, I've really been able to lean into the fact that like I am so much more than a job. I am a creative person. I am a good friend. I am really good at listening, having unique ideas where I'm thinking outside of the box. I love traveling. I love spending time with my family. I love my pets. And soon I hope to also have being a mom as my identity. So I am so many different things but just a small portion of it is what I do. It used to be like, oh, well, I am a brand manager. Like that's who I am. That's what I do. That's my job and that's my identity. And then when you lose your job, you lose your identity. It's so important to, you know, continue to build your life in addition to your job. A job is really just like a portion of who you are and not your entire identity. So learn how to, you know, create a personality, create habits, hobbies, things you like to do, something that creates your own identity outside of your job and I think you'll find you're so so much happier in life because you will have so much more and be more well-rounded if you have more to yourself than just your job. The next life lesson I wanted to share with you guys is that the sooner you can learn that change is inevitable, the sooner you will be happier in life, you will have less anxiety, you will have fewer worries. I think we tend to get so comfortable in our day-to-day -day life, working a nine-to-five job or you know with our friends or with our family or this and that whatever. The sooner you can realize that uh, things are going to change and a lot of times it may not be for the best it may not be like happy changes and things that you thought you wanted to have happen those things are going to happen regardless they're inevitable and the sooner you can realize that the happier you're going to be things can change in an instant you can lose a family member and all of a sudden you are dealing with grief you could lose your job like me and all of a sudden you're dealing with the stress of your income making sure that you can still afford your you know finances and and supporting your family and things like that. Your significant other could ask for a divorce or a breakup of some sort and now all of a sudden your world is flipped upside down. Anything can happen at any moment. I think that by accepting the fact that change is inevitable, it helps us be more adaptable, which means that whenever you are faced with new challenges in life, you'll be able to accept them and adapt to them a lot better. I think that knowing that change is inevitable helps you build resilience because the more you get used to things changing in your life, the better you're going to be at coping with them. Overall, the point is that if you accept the fact that your day-to-day -day life could change in any given moment, the sooner you'll be able to live a happier and more fulfilling life. And the last life lesson has been so important to me, I think even now, like going through pregnancy as well. But that life lesson is that you can truly handle anything in life as long as you have supportive family and friends. I just have to say, I'm like so, so grateful for all the family and friends I have in my life. The people that have been there for me through losing my job, trying to, you know, 
figure out what I'm doing with my life, what I'm doing with my career, how I'm making money, the people that you know support my channel by watching every single video, liking it, leaving comments, encouraging me to keep going when I'm doubting myself like I have been lately, and also going through like the trials and tribulations of pregnancy. Like that's been really hard and I've had so many supportive friends who you know aren't pregnant, haven't been a mom before, but are still so like, I know I can't relate, but I am still here for you, like always here to listen and that type of thing. And I'm just so, so grateful that I have such supportive and encouraging family and friends in my life. If you don't have that, like do everything in your power to start making new friends, start building new relationships, especially deep relationships so that you have, you know, a foundation, a core group of people that you can truly rely on when things get hard, when things get tough and you need that support system. I just can't emphasize enough like how important it is to have a strong support system. So if you don't, and if that's something you wish that you had, do your best to try and reach out to new people, try to get to know them on a deeper level, which will in turn like hopefully help them want to get to know you on a deeper level and do everything in your power to just like build your army, build the people around you. And that's actually something I'm really, really working on this year. Living here in Vegas, I feel like now that I finally am pretty settled here, I really want to focus on investing in having like a stronger like core group. I really have like one close friend here in Vegas and I would love to have like maybe like three close friends here in Vegas. So I really want to invest my time in like people that are genuine people that I feel like would be there for me if I was ever like really in a hard place. So it's just so, so important. I think that this year of being unemployed, laid off, like has really taught me to lean into the people that can help lift you up when you are feeling down and when you are struggling a little bit. But you guys, that's all I wanted to say today. I just can't believe it's been a whole year of not working a nine to five, creating my own income for myself. I am so proud of myself for how far I've come with YouTube. Of course, I'm grateful for every single view, like comment on my channel because it does really help me be able to take this full time. Right now, obviously I'm so tiny still and my income is also pretty small, but I'm grateful for every single penny that I've made from my YouTube channel. And I just hope that it can continue to flourish because I'm so, so much happier working for myself and working on something that I'm passionate about, working on something that I get to you know think creatively about, share my life with you guys, give life lessons, life tips, productivity tips, cleaning tips, all those things. Like it's just so much fun for me and I keep going because I get so many comments about how I've helped people and that is all it really comes down to. Like that's why I'm doing this is to help you guys. So I hope that this video also helps you maybe think about different ways that you want to hunker down and work on improving your life this year in 2024. I hope that you take these lessons to heart and maybe try and implement them into your life. And if you did find this video useful, helpful, interesting, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Um, and if you're new here, I'd love for you to stick around. But that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Happy January, happy 2024. I'm so excited for this year and to see kind of where my channel goes this year. But that is it, and I will catch up with you next time. Bye.